there have been enough sober reports from very reliable multiple witness individuals who have all seen these things uh, all over the world not just in this country but all through Canada all through France all through Brazil Australia you name it they're, they're really for every uh, uh, in a way for me for every uh, you know, couple hundred square miles of land in this country that there are UFO reports some of the people who have had UFO encounters do uh, you know tell me that uh, it's very similar to, to the kinds of encounters that are in the film but of course the kinds of encounters that are in my film are based in part on the experiences of a kind of cross-section of people throughout the country who claim to have had second kind encounters first kind encounters and third kind encounters i wouldn't put it past this government that a cosmic watergate has been underway for the last you know 25 years and at the same time i don't think it's uh i think as we're growing up or from the government's point of view, uh, I think we've, you know, we're, we're, we've, we've been adults uh, for hundreds of years, but from the government's point of view, uh, we're still growing up, and eventually they might want to tell us something about what they've uh, discovered over, over, over the decades. Uh, there is a rumor that was in U.S. News and World Report a number of months ago that uh, Jimmy Carter might make, a, uh, uh, make some unsettling disclosures about the UFO phenomena sometime in December. Uh, it's perfect timing. I opened my movie in December, so it's perfect timing. President Carter reported a twice. UFO sighting twice. Twice, yeah. Has he seen the picture? Uh, last uh, Saturday. What do you think he has, of it? We haven't heard the direct feedback. We hear he liked it uh, quite a bit, and we haven't really heard directly from the president. In view of the fact that your own president mm -hmm. has cited it, reported it, why is it that so many responsible people accuse the U.S. government of, of covering up UFO sightings? And, and why would the U.S., why would the the forces of the government try to do that. Well, it's very popular today because of Watergate to blame the government for anything that we think we should know about that we don't know about. Uh, Dr. Heineck has referred to uh, UFOs in America as a cosmic Watergate. Um, there, there are several reasons why the government could be, you know, withholding information beyond the, the uh, Freedom of Information Act. Uh, the Robertson panel that convened in the early 50s decided that UFOs were not, were, were, were not a th threat to our national security, but could be a threat to our national security by clogging all the proper channels of communication, creating rumors. During the Cold War, when we were already frightened of the intercontinental ballistic missiles arriving in 18 and a half minutes, uh, and the government was afraid that too many UFO reports could be misleading, could m mislead our own facilities, our own NORAD facilities, into thinking that uh, what looked like a non-specific, what looked, looked like a, an uncorrelated target could be, in fact, an incoming missile. And they didn't want to confuse UFOs with a threat from communist Russia.